<sighs> it was bound to happen. Um, there are actually two players here that I didn't really want to let go. And the main one that you're seeing is Andrew Jozivkovic now plays for Ajax. They were the only team out of Man City, Man United, PSG, Monaco. They were the only team to actually meet our four million um, asking price. And, um, you know, I did say I did say to Zivkovic, if a team comes in and gives us the right amount of money, he will be leaving because he wanted to leave. He felt as if he had done everything that he could for the club, even at the age of 18. And, you know, I wasn't going to stand in between him and his move. Um, at the start of this, in my very first episode, I did say that, you know, like the likes of Savic and Lajic and Markovic, they have moved on to bigger European clubs and that was their dream. And uh, Andrew Jozivkovic's dream was to move this season um, in this transfer window. And uh, yeah, so a lot of interest, but he has ended up at Ajax. And personally for me, if there was any other club, if there was a club that I would want him to go to, it would be Ajax. I think you guys can all agree, Ajax is the perfect match for um, Zivkovic. He just, he'd, I think he'd fit in there perfectly. So I don't really have any regrets selling him to um, Ajax. I, I, don't, I didn't want to sell him, but again, if I was going to sell him to anyone, it would be Ajax and he has left the building. So that's that. Four million pounds though, although two million pounds had to go to the, previous club that Zivkovic played for um I think it oh, I think it's gone to tell I can't tell you I don't know but two million pounds has gone somewhere I don't really know who or where it's gone to but it's gone somewhere because we only got two million pound of the actual fee and um, it was a four million pound fee um Ostojic wanted to go to another uh, to a European club to play Champions League football um, not to play Champions League football, sorry. Uh, Oz, he wanted a new challenge. He just wanted to, you know, get out there. And we sold him for um, a higher value than he's actually worth. He was only worth 250 and we sold him for 450k. Um, best, Like I said, best time to sell players is in deadline day because you can get some mad money. Um, but yeah, so he's gone to Heravin for 450k and Zivkovic has gone to Ajax for £4 million. So, who is his replacement? Well... I'm about to show you. His replacement is where is he? If I can find him, <laughs> Stefan Stefan Lilk. He's a he's a replacement. I know what you're look you're looking at this. You're looking at him now, and you're like, he's nothing. He's absolute pants. Well, he's only 16, and there isn't anyone else. And you know what? A better way to build up a 16 year old than to start using him in rotation. Um, in different various matches and stuff like that but he's the only replacement we've got we literally don't have anyone I mean that we probably do um, I didn't really check that much but like you can see here like some of them don't even um, you know it, it's better if, if he f Ooh. is it is it time now nah, I'm not gonna put him because I would I wouldn't play him let's be honest um, let's check they're under 19s yeah, see, there really isn't anyone. Uh, he was the better, best option we had. So, yeah. Anyway, today's game is against Zenit. If you haven't seen our group, uh, let me just click on this so you guys can check it out. Uh, we have, for those of you who just come across this episode, we have Bayern Munich, Zenit Petersburg, and Sevilla in our group. And our first game is against Zenit, um, which, which, which is quite scary. Uh, we're at home as well. I don't know how this is going to go. But, you know, like I said in the press conference... We're just going to have fun with it. We're just going to see what we can do. So, Babkovic is injured, um, which I forgot to mention. And so, we're going to have to play Ninkovic in that position there. Um, Babkovic obviously can't start, so we'll put Todorovic there. And that is going to be our bench. And this is going to be our starting lineup. So, um, Kojic up front, Trujic left wing, right wing, Gribic, uh, Ninkovic behind Kojic, Brasenak in midfield, Petrovic behind Brasenak. Petrovic, Fabric, Fabricio or Fabrico, I think it's Fabricio, uh, Serkovic and Bandalovsky in defence. Let's get into this. Basically, I expect to win. Um, I always do that when I'm at home. You know, you always want to win in front of your home fans, but this is not going, this is just not even going to be an easy game. You know, you've got the likes of Danny on the pitch, Asaldi, Hulk. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not ideal. I was going to say Arshavin, but Arshavin's kicked rocks, ain't he? I think he's moved teams. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that, but I think he has moved teams. That ball's gone to Kojic. Petrovic picks it up in midfield. Now, what the bookies have said is that this is going to be a difficult match due to the fact that um, we're in good form in our league, which I forgot to show you. I'll show you at the end of the game. And Zenit 
are um well i didn't read what they said about zedda i just wanted to see what they said about um our, our club so that that's what they've said but is it true i don't know we'll have to see in this game but um i don't think the best idea was to go attacking and we are one nil down Kurzakov has scored in the seventh minute and um well sixth minute and now we're one nil down i should probably go counter because uh, this is a big club uh big big players in this hulk it's it's hulk and danny i'm more concerned about but kurzakov has already shown that there are other threats in this club besides those two danny through here takes a shot and lukak with a save keeping us in this as it's still one nil hulk now gonna cross in this corner doesn't find anyone danny is on the ball now from that little rebound there I don't even know how to say his name. I think his name is Green. Whatever is that? I didn't. I didn't see his name. I just didn't see him. Fabrizio Petrovic left open. Brasenac. Oh, and a big boy saved by the keeper. Um, I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not even gonna try and say his name. But yeah, they saved that. Still one nil. Uh, Bayern Munich are one nil up against Sevilla. Uh, Lewandowski has just scored. So it looks like Zenit, you know, if, if if not Champions League, at least Europa League, that that would be nice. But we're, we're just going to have a fun with it, see what happens. Mandalovsky, pass it back to Gribic, Gribic to Ninkovic, Brasnak, cross it wide, look, look, look over there on the opposite side. No, you're going to get tackled. He works it in, Kodjic, and Kodjic puts it wide. Oh... But Trigic was open, like he's literally just free. He was, no one was there. I thought someone. I thought Brasenac was going to switch it. Hulk with a free kick that could have gone in. Uh, Brasenac, I thought was going to switch it over to um, Krijic, but he just didn't. Fair play. At least we still got into the box. Ninkovic. At least we're still playing on the pressure. Oh, that hit the crossbar. It hit the crossbar. It was one of them glitches where it shouldn't have, but it did. And it's still 1-0 to Zenit. We can still come back in this. Changing to counter has changed the whole format of this game. I thought we were going to get dominated. Fabricio on the ball. Brassinat takes a shot. And that hits the crossbar. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I've got faith in you. That, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Keeper chilled when he saw that fly by. I think he panicked just as bad as I did. Hang on a minute. Gee whiz. And Saudi to Danny. Kurzakov. Back to Danny. Danny looking for a pass out wide. Finds it. And Saudi back to Danny. Danny passes it in the box. What are they doing? They're, they're just trying to maintain possession. Oh, yeah, they got Javi Garcia. Kurzakov. Woo! Wide of the right hand side of the post. It's still 1 0. Come on, part. Come, come, come on. Like, we can do this. We can do this. Partizan, we can do this. Kind of. I'm hoping. Danny, don't score. Danny scored. He's tucked it in the back of the net. Right, I'm I'm doing this straight up. Just just do it. Just defend. <laughs> just defend. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just defend. Fabricio, Ninkovic, Gribic crosses it in. To, no one can score. Oh, God. I thought that was a goal. That, I thought that was a definite goal. I don't know about you guys, but I can't score corners. Well, in any FM save I've had, I've just my team's never been able to score corners. Um, I, I, I don't know why, but we just haven't. Um, f I guess they tried to calm it down on that corner glitch that people kept talking about. Um, but I think they've nerfed it a bit too much because we hardly, I hardly score from corners. Danny's through, takes a shot, and I thought Hulk was going to get onto that rebound. Hang on a minute. Ha I just had to stay silent because that was you guys saw that right like he was basically about to nip it in the back of the net like he was through one on one no one else just him and the keeper referee blows whistle it's cool it's, it's, it's all good you know I, I see these things Nem Kojic gives away a free kick Ninkovic Kurzakov back on the ball now gives that ball away uh, Xavi Garcia 
out wide to Al Sadi. He's going to find a pass through to Hulk. Hulk is going to find a cross in. Danny with a shot, but I think the keeper and the post cleared that out, and it's still 2 0. But I'm ho I just want to get a goal, at least get a goal to give us some confidence in the Champions League. Gribic. Kodjik! Oh, counter attack is awesome. Right. Let, let's just keep. Let's just do it. Let's just go counter. Let's just go counter. We're third now. We're in the Europa League position. Hulk and Saudi to Hulk. 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 They're going to punish us, aren't they? Hulk. Hulk is going to do something. Danny. Yeah. Oh! Just over the bar. Still 2 1. Come on, lads. Keep it in there. Zenit thinking they is and they're just not. But we, we can knock them off. I'm hoping. Right, I'm going to uh, Petrovic. Is it playing well, apparently? Which one? Both. <laughs> uh, both of them aren't playing well. Great, isn't it? Um, Fabricio needs to come off. He's a good defender, but he needs to come. The, the whole defense is not playing well, are they? Um, Bandelowski needs to come off because I know they. I just know FM. I just know FM. So we're going to make some defense changes in defense. Um, start off from the back, and then if anyone you know starts to um, act a bit weary in attack, we'll uh, make some changes up front. And uh, Saldi, they keep passing it back and slowing down the play. Your football is so boring, but it's actually getting you forward and getting shots. <sighs> here we go. Kozakov and Saldi Hulk. He shoots wide. Hulk is well. That's not a surprise. Hulk is not actually that good. He's a bit overrated, but um, that's another topic. That's another. That's another topic for another video. Um, let's get, can we have a highlight? Can we? Can we? Can we have a highlight? Um, Kurzakov puts that in the back of the net, and it's now three one. Um, Kurzakov is literally running this team down the drain. Um, we're going to make a substitution up front, actually. Ooh. Take him off. And that's that. That is our last sub done. And um, we'll just have to see what happens now. Um, game's pretty much done. Trigic. Kojic. Kojic. Someone score. Come on. Come on. Xavi got to see got injured in the process. Probably just like took his kneecap out. But who cares? I don't. <laughs> Sounds a bit harsh. But I just don't. Yes. Oh yeah. We understand that Kozakov is good. I'm sorry. I'm just reading my assistant's little notes on the side here. Um, I understand Kurzakov is good. We we don't need reminding that that he's good. We we don't. Brasenak to Kojic, Kojic on the ball to Trojic, Kojic back to Petrovic Ninkovic. This is good play here. He's through. Oh, Ilic found he found a pass out wide and Saudi with the tackle uh, should have passed to the youngster Rondon. Rondon, what a name, Rondon. Wow. Okay, Kurzakov looked to get his hat trick. Oh, that guy's been a nightmare this game. Kurzakov on the ball again. Uh, it's the Kurzakov show. It's the Kurzakov show. I forgot about Witzel. Did he not? He didn't start. He didn't start. Cut. He literally is just raped. He's raped us this game. He just has. He's absolutely slaughtered us. No mercy at all. Just no mercy. Like I couldn't. I've done anything. I've changed to attack. I've changed to defense. I've changed to counter. I've changed to attack. There's nothing we can do. Saldi don't actually add insult to. They add an insult to injury. They're gonna add insult to injury. They're not. Kojic's on the ball now. He's not really gonna do anything. Ain't got the pace to. Um, Illich back. Back to another Illich. <laughs> Two Illiches on the pitch. Ninkovic. Yeah. That's as far as we're gonna go outside of the box. It looks in this game. Um, Gary has given away a. Something. I, I, that, that was just a highlight. I don't. I don't know. Um, game's done. Game is done. Four-one loss to Zenit. Um, right. 
Alrighty then, so that is the end of that game. We lose, and um, Sevilla, Sevilla pulled out a draw against Bayern Munich. Interesting. Uh, so Zenit lead the table, Bayern are second, Sevilla are third, and we are fourth. Our only hope really to do well in this is to get points against Sevilla. That that's that is we're just gonna be realistic. That is pretty much it. In terms of schedule, um, since the game against Strom Goddess, uh, we won against FK Rad two one. Kojic with both goals. Uh, we then beat. Jagodina, we beat them 6-1. Kojic scored in the second minute. Gribic scored a penalty in the 24th minute. Trujic scored a hat trick. And Brasenak also scored in the 90th minute. And obviously, our new, our recent loss against uh, Petersburg, we lost 4-1. Um, which puts us in the league at the moment. We are first level with Jagodina. Um, I'm guessing they're the. Well, I thought it would have been um, Red Star, as I call them, but. Um, Guess not. Anyway, in the Champions League, as you've seen, we are bottom of the table. And in the cup, Shribeje, I think that's how you say it. I don't really know. But in the cup, we are... I'm just going to call it the Serbian Cup. In the Serbian Cup, we are going against Zeleniska. And we are away. So, don't know too much about this club. But I'm hoping we can pull out something. Because it would be nice to get some silverware. As I don't think the Champions League is going to be a realistic target this season but who knows at least we're in the Champions League that's all I can say I'm going to end the episode here if you have enjoyed it be sure, be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content and I will see you later peace